Another one. Not seeing a win on the schedule for him. Welcome to the SEC. <laughs> okay, not saying you see a win is crazy because they should beat Missouri. And to Oklahoma fans, you know I love you guys, but this has nothing to do with you. I don't care who had this schedule. You're going to have a tough time. I'm going to give you my prediction on where they'd win these games or lose these games. We got a super late night upload tonight, but I don't think many of you are going to mind because there is nothing to watch in the sports world. I saw this today on TikTok and I was like, yep, this really just hit home with me. We've officially entered the dog days of summer. And trust me, I like the summer just as much as anybody else. I like going outside, getting a nice little tan, going to the pool every now and then, just being out when it's warm. But I hate this part of summer. Just like it says right here, days until the college football season, 74. Days until the NFL season, 86. Days until MLB playoffs, who really cares about that, but 120. NBA, 127. And last but not least, college basketball, 149. And maybe some of you are just like me, but when the NBA playoffs wrapped up, it was a bittersweet feeling because I knew that was the end of sports. We are now about to enter one of the driest of dry periods where the only thing to watch is hockey and golf. And no disrespect to anybody that watches hockey or golf, but come on, man. Who cares about that crap? I'll play golf, no problem with that whatsoever, but watch golf? No, unless Tiger Woods is competing, I'm not watching. I did want to share that with y'all because since we are in the dark days, do not fear because I'm going to be providing the content that you won't be seeing on TV all the time. A lot of you watching have stuck with me throughout the offseason of college football and I can't thank y'all enough and the season's going to be here before we know it. It feels like it was yesterday I was saying, hey, we're 100 days away and now we're only about 74 days away. Getting on track with tonight's video, by the way, we're not doing no intro, none of that, we're getting straight into it. We got to take a look at this, what I'm going to label as bad, and I mean bad news for Oklahoma. To all of my Oklahoma fans out there, you know I love you guys, but I'm not going to sugarcoat this. You are in for a very rude awakening. In the video we posted only a couple hours ago, we talked about the breaking news that came out, how Georgia has to play Clemson, Texas, and Alabama, and also Tennessee in 2024. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out. I'm not going to talk about that. What we're going to talk about is right after I posted this video, the breaking news came out on Oklahoma's new schedule. Or it actually all came out around the same time, but I just saw it after the Georgia video we just did. I had a couple people tag this to me on Twitter, by the way, shout out to you guys, and when I first saw it, I was like, wait, 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 what? What is this? So the past couple of years, these Oklahoma fans, they've been excited. They're like, yes, we're going to the SEC. We're going to the best conference. Well, be careful for what you wish for. Because Oklahoma's new 2024 SEC schedule has officially been released. And <laughs> check this out. This is brutal, man. It is brutal. I said Georgia's schedule was brutal. No, this is brutal. They're both pretty tough, but you get the point. Oklahoma's is just as bad. And when I say bad, I mean as tough and hard. The first game, which would be neutral site, they got to play Texas, which is like, okay, you know, they always play Texas. Who cares? But then right after Texas, you got to play Alabama. Back-to-back -back games against Texas, which will be a top 15 team more than likely, and Alabama, who is a top three team. Don't even try to act like Alabama's going to fall off and be ranked outside of the top five or top 10 in 2024. Don't even try to play that game with me, ain't doing it. Alabama's a top five team every single year in the country. You can debate a brick wall. As long as Saban's there, top five team. But then guess what? If that wasn't good enough for you, after playing Texas and Alabama, you got to play Tennessee. That's tough, man. That is tough. Now, the great news is you are getting these games at home. But the not so great news is you got to play Alabama and Tennessee. You're used to playing Texas, but now you're playing two of the top 10 teams currently in the country. And I had Texas, I mean, not Texas, my bad, Tennessee as a top five team. And then after that, your other home game is South Kakalaki, who's on the rise. We've talked about them a lot recently. South Kakalaki, they beat Clemson last year and Tennessee. Great news. Yes, you got all four of these games at home, but the bad news is you got to play every single one of these teams are going to be top 25 teams. Sheesh, man, that is tough. But hold on, if you thought that was bad, we're just getting started. Here's your other four road games. You got to go to Auburn, and here's why this game is going to be tougher than what it looks like right now. Auburn next year is not going to be that great, but in 2024, that's going to be Hugh Freeze's second year there. That Auburn team will be a top 25 team. You can mark it down, they're going to be good. Do I think Auburn's going to be great? No, but they're going to be good. And we all know this, I've talked about this a lot recently too, there is witchcraft in Jordan-Hare Stadium. Crazy things happen there. Playing at Auburn is one of the scariest things of all time. 
So you got to go to Auburn, and if you're not scared about that game, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Well, then you got to go to LSU, Death Valley, and I would like to hope and assume that'd be a night game. Man, oh man, Oklahoma at LSU at night, it doesn't get too much better than that. Brian Kelly's going to have them boys ready to go, and they're already ahead of schedule at LSU. And then your third road game on this list, you got to go to Ole Miss. Do I think Ole Miss is some serious threat like a Alabama or like an LSU or even a Tennessee or Texas? No, but as long as Kiffin's there, they're a solid ball team. And I'd say right now, if Oklahoma played Ole Miss tomorrow, I'm probably going to pick Ole Miss. And then last but not least, the easiest game out of your eight-game conference schedule, you got Missouri, but remember, Missouri played Georgia close last year. I want you to think about this. Missouri is the easiest team on this list, and they ain't even bad. I'm not going to sit up here and try to say Missouri's good, but they're not terrible. Look at this list. Currently, as where we stand, six out of eight of these teams are in the top 25, and more than likely in 2024, unless something crazy happens, seven out of eight of these teams are going to be in the top 25. Screw the home games. Look at the away games. I don't even know how you could try to argue and say you're going to go undefeated at Auburn, at LSU, and at Ole Miss. I'll just give you the Missouri one for the sake of this video. But at Auburn, at Ole Miss, at LSU, you'd be lucky to go 2-1 and one on that stretch. For the sake of this video, let's just run through this as to how I feel about these games right now. I'm going to give you my prediction on where they'd win these games or lose these games. Starting out with Texas. Well, considering Texas mauled you last year, no, this is an L. After that, you're playing Bama. Let's not even argue about this. Bama's better than Oklahoma, so that's back-to-back -back L. Well, then you got Tennessee. Tennessee's on fire. No, I'm not picking Oklahoma to beat Tennessee. No way. That's three L's. And I'll give you the South Carolina one just to give you one. That's one in three on your four home games. <laughs> and it's not even that I think Oklahoma's a bad team. It's just the other teams are better. Then your road games at Auburn, I'll give you that one. Now you're two and three. But then you got to go to Death Valley, your first time being there. And I don't know the last time. Has Oklahoma ever played in Death Valley? I don't know. I'm going to say it's an L. You're two and four. Then you got to go to Ole Miss hostile environment i say you lose that one two and five and i'll give you a win at missouri that's three and five and that might be your best case in scenario is there actually any way that oklahoma goes six and two out of these eight games i don't think so not right now at least i mean oklahoma was bad last year i think best case in scenario right now with the information i have oklahoma goes yet again best case in scenario five and three more than likely though you're going three and five or four and four and i don't want to see a single oklahoma fan trying to sit up here and argue that you have a fighting chance against tennessee alabama or texas or lsu no 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 i don't want to see any of that just based on the fact texas beat you by five thousand last year i don't want to see nobody in the comment section trying to sit up here and tell me oh matt well in a year and a half we're gonna be better we got all these recruits coming in no you don't know what's going to happen. Just go off of the information we have right now. Based off of right now, you're not going to compete with Alabama, Tennessee, and Texas, and LSU. Would I like to hope and imagine that Oklahoma does compete with all these teams? Yes, I do think that would be the case. But right now, we don't know that to be true. But the point of this video is this right here. This schedule is brutal, and this is a rude awakening in the SEC. <laughs> Somebody said they might not win a game. Another one. Not seeing a win on the schedule for him. Welcome to the SEC. <laughs> okay, not saying you see a win is crazy because they should beat Missouri. And to Oklahoma fans, you know I love you guys, but this has nothing to do with you. I don't care who had this schedule. You're going to have a tough time. On this schedule, you currently have six top 25 teams. Let's compare that to your schedule from last year. Or not even last year. Let's just take a look at this year's schedule, 2023. You got Arkansas State, SMU, Tulsa, Cincinnati, Iowa State, Texas, UCF, Kansas, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, BYU, and TCU. On this list right here, TCU, yeah, top 25 team. Oklahoma State, top 25 team. And then Texas, top 25 team. That's it. And right now, just looking at Oklahoma's schedule for 2023, they got a good chance of going 10-2. and two. But in 2024, that SEC schedule alone, shoot, man. I don't even know how you could say Oklahoma's going to go 10-2. and two. You're going to get more than two losses probably just in conference play. Good luck. That's all I got to tell you. I'm very curious. Let me know your thoughts down below on Oklahoma's schedule. Do you think I'm overreacting or what do you think? Last but not least, though, I do want to say this. Tomorrow, here's what we're going to talk about, give you a little sneak peek. We're going to take a look at all the team schedule for the new 2024 SEC new conference alignment and opponents. We are going to talk about every single team in the SEC. So if you like SEC football, come on back tomorrow.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you who I think has the hardest schedule. We're going to rank them from 1 to 16. 1 being the hardest schedule and 16 being the least hardest schedule. It's going to be a good video. And last but not least, before I end off this video, somebody, yeah, 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 Vanderbilt fan sent me this on Twitter. Let's take a look at this. Might be great. We got to play Bama, USC, Tennessee, Texas at home, then Auburn at Jordan Hare, and then LSU at Death Valley. If we don't go 2-10, and 10, I would take this season and treat it like we just won the natty. I didn't know that. Vanderbilt plays USC in the non-conference. Look at their home games. Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas. Yeah, that's probably 0 and 4. You could, yeah, I don't know. You could pull off an upset against South Carolina, maybe. The away schedule ain't too bad, though, because you got Auburn, Kentucky, and Missouri. Those are winnable games, but LSU, that's going to be difficult. Thank you for sending that to me, Josh. Like I said, we'll talk more about the SEC schedules tomorrow because I really want to gather my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on all this down below. But, uh, roll